Hello everyone, I'm Xiao Fang, a PhD student in Carnegie Mellon University. In this video, I will introduce our work on attention mass. This is a joint work with Shihan, Maximum, AJ, Michael, Anilia, Chris, and Wei. Convolution networks are dominant in computer vision. For example, most video classification methods use convolution as the primary building block to construct their network. However, convolution still has its limitations. First, convolution does not explicitly model where to focus in the data, since the same convolution kernel is applied at every position. Second, convolution is unsuitable for modeling long-range dependencies, since it only operates on a small and a local neighborhood. Fortunately, both limitations can be alleviated by attention operations. Map-based attention explicitly models where to focus on by learning a pointwise weighting factor for each position. To model long-range dependencies, dot product attention computes a pairwise similarity matrix between all the positions and reweights the feature map based on the similarity matrix. However, many design choices still remain to be determined to use attention, especially when applying attention to videos. For example, there are three dimensions in videos. What's the right dimension to apply attention to videos? Spatial, temporal, or spatial temporal. Also, when we have multiple attention operations, how to compose them? Should we apply them in a sequential manner or a parallel manner? All these design choices need to be determined when we use attention. Towards a principled way of using attention, we propose to automatically search for attention cells in a data-driven manner. More specifically, we propose a novel search space for spatial temporal attention cells. The search space uses attention operations as the primary building block and allows the search algorithm to flexibly explore various design choices. We also develop a differentiable formulation of our search space and a differentiable search method to efficiently search for attention cells. We construct an attention cell by composing multiple attention operations. We also enforce the input and output of the cell to have the same shape, such that the attention cell can be easily inserted anywhere in existing backbones. The proposed search space contains a cell-level search space and an operation-level search space. In the cell-level search space, we need to determine the connectivity between the operations. In another word, we need to select the input to each operation. The input to the first operation is fixed to the F0, which is the input to the entire cell. Then, starting from the second operation, we select from existing feature maps and compute a weighted sum as the input to the operation. In the example on the left, we select F0 and F1 as the input to operation 2 and select F1 as the input to operation 3. After we obtaining the input of all the operations, we concatenate them along the channel dimension and use a convolution layer to reduce the channels to be the same as F0. For each attention operation, we need to make two fundamental choices. The first is the dimension to apply the attention and we call this dimension as attention dimension. There are three possible choices here, spatial, temporal, or spatial temporal. The second is the type of this operation. There are two types of attention operations, which address different limitations of convolution. For example, let's assume the attention dimension is temporal. Map-based attention will learn T attention weights for the T frames, indicating which frame to focus on. Dot product attention will learn a T by T attention weight matrix based on the pairwise similarity between all the frames. This explicitly models long range dependencies between the T frames. The learned attention weights will be used to reweight the feature for each frame. We have a detailed description of the two types of operations in our paper. Here is a summary of our search space. For each attention operation, we need to determine its attention dimension and operation type. We also included the activation function for computing attention weights in the operation level search space. Besides instantiating each operation, we need to determine the connectivity between the operations. Once we find our attention cells, we insert them into existing backbone networks. 
Since the input and output of cells have the same shape, we can easily insert them anywhere in the network. In practice, we usually insert multiple cells into the backbone and add a skip connection between the cell input and output. Now, let's look at how to search for attention cells. We aim to find a cell from the search space such that the video classification accuracy is maximized when adding the cell into the backbone network. To speed up the search process, we develop a differentiable formulation of the search space. This allows us to use differentiable architecture search without explicitly sampling and evaluating different cells. The search cost equals to the cost of training one network. More specifically, we propose to represent our search space as a supergraph. Then, each possible attention cell is a subgraph of the supergraph, parameterized by a set of continuous and differentiable connection weights. Let's take a closer look at the supergraph. The supergraph has several levels, and each level has multiple nodes. Each node is an operation of a predefined attention dimension and a type. The input feature map is passed to all the nodes at the first level. Starting from the second level, each node receiving the outputs of all the nodes at its previous level. We learn level connection ways to indicate the importance of connections between levels. The supergraph also has a sync node receiving the output of all the nodes, and we learn sync connection ways to indicate the importance of each node. During the search, we insert supergraphs into the backbone network and jointly optimize the network weights and connection weights by minimizing the training loss using gradient descent. Once the training is done, we derive the attention cell design from the learned weights. We choose the top alpha nodes based on sync connection weights. And then for each selected node, we select its top beta predecessors based on level connection weights and repeat this process recursively until we reach the first level. Finally, we remove unselected nodes and obtain our discovered attention cells. We insert the discovered attention cells into the backbone and train them from the scratch to evaluate its performance. We consider two backbones, I3D and S3D. Both of them are constructed based on the inception network. In the experiment, five cells are inserted into the backbone. We consider two datasets, Kinetic 600 and MIT. We first compare with the local blocks now, local blocks are the state-of-the-art manually designed attention cell for video classification and are the most direct competitor of our automatically searched cells. Let's look at the red box, which are the relative improvement brought by our cells. We can improve the accuracy by more than 2% and outperform non-local blocks on all the combinations of backbones and datasets. Next, we examine how well our cells can generalize to new settings we do not perform any search in the following experiments, but directly apply our cells searched for one setting to a different setting and see if the cells can still improve the performance. Here, we apply the cells discovered on RGB frames to optical flow and see that they can still significantly improve the classification accuracy, even though these cells are never optimized to improve the performance on optical flow. We also look at the generalization across backbones Besides I3D and S3D, we consider a third backbone called I3D R50, which is an inflated 3D network based on Resin 50. Again, our cells consistently improve the video classification accuracy when being applied on different backbones. Our cells also demonstrate strong generalization across datasets. For example, cells discovered on MIT perform well on Kinetics dataset. Finally, we insert our cells into I3D R50 and compare with state-of-the-art methods. On Kinetic 600, we achieve a similar accuracy with slow fast, but with fewer flops during inference. On MIT, we achieve the highest accuracy with only RGB frames and outperform all the previous methods. Here is a summary of our contributions. We include more analysis and visualizations of the attention cells in our paper. Welcome to Chalk Paper and thank you for watching this video.